It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. From his end zone, Marvin Mims. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted from the 24. Back to 80. Get, get, In motion get, get. right, that's Burks. Second and four. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Four yards the pick up, first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Come on, come on. Hey. They run for the first time with Javante Williams. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That one going for a gain of 11, and yeah, the Bronco first down. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings, that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch them? Absolutely. Ball? You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake. Oh, They've taken care of that early. Stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And some space here. And just shedding him off there. And he's going to be shut down, but not before he gets this down to the 20-yard line. 52 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. 
that's what you're looking for in setting the tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Now a first down here. security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now it's second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now that's a great play defensively, and one thing we do know, both of the corners are going to face a lot of action in this game. The way that that offense likes to fling it around. The safeties, they better be ready to be engaged as well. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Now a toss left for Pacheco. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. And an 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Yo, yo. Here's Pacheco once again. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know that. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. one I kind of saw it coming charge in a free safety just hanging back there over the middle waiting and he saw that ball go in the air and he jumped on it Here we go. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that that was just your standard cover three which means a free safety in the middle of the field the two corners and they divide the field in thirds but when you have a free safety with range like a good center fielder he can go from side to side and make plays on the football as he's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up the first down. Now oh, 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 oh. the sticks. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up the first here on third down. Looks like they'll move things around here. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. between those last two plays. Boy, some big runs here, Charles, already in this first quarter. Yeah, if the lanes are there, go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is, putting his foot in the ground and going. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. Try to run this one in. And he'll take it into the end 
zone for a Denver score. A great play there. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Broncos are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now here's Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. The second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. start to the season for them. And they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. I and I think I this is to. where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be back home in the first season. And we know they got the ball all the way through the Super Bowl if we get that done. 27 yards there, a first down. This is going to be a corner route to their tight end, and I'll tell you what, it's man coverage, so that makes it hard for a linebacker to stay with it. And he's able to make the catch on the right side of the field and pick up the first down. Right. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now they're going to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back at the 29. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. The 
Mahomes going to throw. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Pacheco. He's in. Touchdown, Chiefs. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was. And when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And they had lost two in a row prior to getting the open week last weekend, so potentially a chance for them to get away for a bit heal up and come back strong. That's what the hope is anyway, because you're going to find out now with your team, are you still focused on being the best you can be for the rest of the season with the things going the way they have earlier this year? The second down and 10th in, knocked down as an easy quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they need to come up with something here on third down. is sent away. Ross on the return. Dances by him. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield for great. And he's taken down inside the 30. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. And officially they'll say it's going to go for 19. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That it's Rose. Point by Bunker is on target, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now, after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they are a game under 500 now, following the loss a week ago. And this is a team, Charles, 
It just has not been able to string victories together. Yeah, they certainly got the ball away, aren't they? Because it looked like they had things going in the right direction, but now they've lost two straight, and that means this game is vital. Extremely important because they fall two games below 500. The road back into playoff contention, awfully difficult. Ready? Here's second and seven now from the 28. Ready. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That's caught. It's Marvin Mims. Room here to run. And running with power here. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It's a gain of 34. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call. They were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. On second down, Williams fights Lutz. And he's going to get it down to the 33 yard line. 79 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first time. This drive has turned into an extended run, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more of a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Broncos! A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Broncos are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? The result, only four yards there on the play, and that will bring up third and one. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Mahomes now to throw. down the homes. Well, it was him as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Second and ten. Again, it's Mahomes. His throw incomplete. 
feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He's got his tackle. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 41-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive right, against right. him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A and nice throw left. there. And they're putting together a very right. strong drive as a response. First down, but it winds up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Yellow, yellow. Here's second and ten. to throw once more. And seeing no one to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call Yellow. and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Wiley Moss. And the Broncos force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the Here touchdown. Go. Unfortunately, go. they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick. Whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity, but didn't get it. Because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone. And that allows the defense to tighten up their coverage. And they pick that one off. And they work this well on field across the 45. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Come on, come on. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Mustang 19. Rick, Rick. Put a receiver in motion right. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. The Broncos in their hurry up trying to get to their positions and get set quickly. Second and five. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. On the go. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. He'll look to throw. That's this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick here is good. And 
and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. A field goal the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Go, well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Now Mahomes. in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Now here's Mahomes. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. To throw, it's Mahomes. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. I'll tell you what, he did not have much time there to skim the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly? Yeah. Meaning the guys in front of them had almost Yellow. no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. Yellow, yellow. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Here's Pacheco headed right. He'll get this down to the 38. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure. And he's going to have to eat this when his down he goes. Corner blitz got home there. Pat Sertan, the one that dropped him. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. Hey, 57, 57, color, 57, color. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the Broncos will take over on downs. Here we go. Cut. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. 
And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. In motion, the tight end. 18, tight end. Williams going to give it again on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Field and is a defender against that type of a route, you better take the proper angles. Otherwise, that's the end result. You give up a big chunk of yardage to the offense. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Now a play fake here on first down. On the move to his left. This will be caught at about the six. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. Get it! The option to give the Williams here. And again, touchdown, Denver. Javante Williams, a five-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. The Broncos kickoff unit out there to kick this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of it. He's got it in, complete! First and ten, here's Pacheco. And we're down to the 41. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This is second and eight. They go play fake. Mahomes. The pass complete. Now the crossing route. This is Tony Rowe. Pacheco, and he will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And that 
that's also all for this third quarter of play. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard they trail as we start quarter number four. Second and ten. Yellow. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That is caught at the seven. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. A great play there. 29 yards. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Butker is on target. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Yeah. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work ready, against a stacked ready. box and continue to move the ball? Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Hardy and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 67 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. Brandon, sometimes it just comes down to the power of suggestion because I know exactly what they said all week long. We're coming off the open week. We'll have the fresher legs in the fourth quarter, and they will wilt when we get to that point. And right now, it appears that they're thinking that exact thing. Yeah, offensively, they had the bye last week. Defensively, did not. Is that really a big factor? I think the more that you talk about it, the more that you emphasize it, the more sometimes it comes true for your team. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. One blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone Ready. open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. And a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Chiefs 35. A sizable 16 yard chunk there. The drive continues. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35 yard line. Throw. 
steps away to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. How good is he going to throw the football, though? And despite that information, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation, trying to defend the guy who's been this hot. Here we go. Here and it shows some extra confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football and at least more conversions for that. Third down, he'll drop to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Yellow. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. And they get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 75 yards receiving for him now. And it's a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Didn't get a whole lot there, but at least he got out of bounds. Stop the clock. True on every count there because I know for a fact that when that call came in, it was tagged with these words. Make sure to tell him, if he doesn't have anything, get out of bounds. Save the time on the clock. Now they've got to start considering what their play calling is because they've got to push it downfield. Mahomes now to throw. See a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And with a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that. It seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they play some trap put them there. Now a lot of guys just barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in there. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40 yard line. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. As my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. Come on, come on. Why did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep down field, to hurt your defense. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And now defensively, they're going to burn their first timeout. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. 65-cast! 65-cast! Second and six. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first. 
first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 45-yard line. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Hey, Chris! That will be the middle of the Williams. He's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Let's go Whenever now. they've needed a big run, a first down, Tell he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. No, no. Bronco switch, Bronco switch. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. two-score game, his third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? The Broncos kickoff unit out there to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. They'll come up first and ten here. Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Yellow. 
Here's second down. Mahomes will throw. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Give a big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Yellow. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Mahomes to throw it. The defense fall asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for the Broncos, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Kansas City, they fall for the first time this season after six wins to start the campaign. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.